Hanging Garden, Integrated Climate System and Biodiversity Laboratory. We tell you what projects surprised the guests of the World Universal Exhibition and what Russia presented at it. The United Arab Emirates hosts guests at Expo 2020 from October 1, 2021 to March 31, 2022. The main theme of the exhibition is Uniting Minds, Creating the Future. Under this motto, hundreds of countries presented their smart solutions and innovative projects in various industries in Dubai. Each participant has his own pavilion with an unusual design and internal stuffing. It will take more than one day to get around and carefully familiarize yourself with promising ideas and already implemented projects and already implemented projects. The exhibition area is divided into several thematic zones, including mobility, sustainable development, opportunities. An integral part of each of them was the maintenance of the trend for environmental sustainability. This topic will be raised within the framework of the program for people and planet during 10 thematic weeks devoted to climate and biodiversity, urban and rural development, ensuring a balance between the expansion of the digital world and physical reality. In the German pavilion, the theme of ecology is combined with smart technologies. Steel membranes at the base and under the roof create the right natural lighting at different times of the day, which allows you to save electricity. The thematic zones electricity, city of the future, and biodiversity laboratory are presented inside. The guests are introduced to innovations and high-tech solutions of the country in the field of sustainable development. The Singapore Pavilion is designed as a tropical oasis and draws attention to the issues of combating the problems of global warming. This is an example of creating a green oasis even in the UAE, a country with a hot and arid climate. The pavilion with zero primary electricity consumption introduces the concepts of viability and resilience. A rainforest with zero primary electricity consumption based on an independent ecosystem has been created here. Guests are greeted by hilly landscape garden cones 9 meters high. Then they are invited to walk under the canopy of the rainforest and visit the hanging garden. Visitors of the exhibition can refresh themselves in the pavilion of Brazil. The pavilion is made in white tones, and its highlight is a pond with gentle slopes. Thus, the authors of the pavilion project, at the expense of sounds and aromas, recreated the opportunity to walk by the Amazon River Basin, walk barefoot on the water. Such a project is another example of the development of a desert territory, the creation of a recreation area for citizens and tourists. Guests of the exhibition could also take part in a special project to restore the Amazon forests. Visitors were offered to plant named trees in their honor. For this, it was necessary to leave an email and data. In total, within the framework of the project, it is planned to grow 20,000 named trees in honor of the guests of the pavilion. Seedlings will be grown from seeds. The participants of the special project will be informed about the progress of the process by email every week. The Pavilion of the Czech Republic presents the technology of creating fertile land in the desert by extracting water vapor from the air. Within the framework of this technology, only solar energy is used. When creating the Netherlands Pavilion, eco-friendly materials brought from this country were used. For example, transparent solar panels based on organic solar cells are installed on its roof, which significantly saves resources one of the central elements of the pavilion was a huge vertical truss in the form of a cone. So the authors presented an integrated climate system that collects water, produces energy. Due to innovative technologies in the format of vertical farms, it is proposed to grow vegetables, fruits, and greens. In the pavilion of China, which is one of the largest in area, guests are introduced to five dead technologies, artificial intelligence, and smart travel. The pavilion's territory is divided into several zones. Common dreams, common land, common home, and common future. In them, visitors can get acquainted with major projects and achievements of the country. They relate to the transport industry, space exploration, and the introduction of artificial intelligence. The Philippines pavilion looks like a coral reef from the outside. The exhibition combines art, design, and scientific works using visual images and installations reflects the history of this state and its people. It reflects the synergy of nature and man, 
Residents of the country support this trend from generation to generation. All natural resources and resources are considered as valuable capital. The pavilion of the host country. The UAD is made in the form of a flying falcon. It demonstrates large-scale innovative projects. Among them, the world's largest solar battery park and a project for the production of hydrogen using solar energy green hydrogen. The special pavilion Terra is located in the thematic zone, Sustainable Development. The structure complies with the platinum standards of architecture of sustainable development of the system of standards in the field of environmental performance assessment of construction. Lee, Eid, for example, about 5,000 solar panels and 18 energy trees are installed on the 130-meter canopy of the pavilion. Together, they produce 4 juice U of alternative energy per year which is enough to charge more than 900,000 mobile phones. Visitors are invited to walk among the roots of forest trees, dive into the depths of the ocean, as well as learn about the relationship between man and nature and how changing our habits can reduce carbon emissions and negative impact on the environment. The guests will also be introduced to innovative projects that contain real solutions aimed at preserving the planet's resources. The most visited since the opening of the exhibition was the Pavilion of Russia. The main theme of which sounds like creative mind, define in the future, it is based on multimedia technology. The center of the exhibition called Mechanics of the Miracle was a huge kinetic sculpture of the brain accompanied by projection technologies. It symbolizes major scientific discoveries and achievements of past eras, as well as demonstrates the latest Russian achievements. The modern model of the brain is presented as a huge network of nerve cells and their connections, which is the basis for modern information technologies. Moscow presented its innovations and developments at the site of the Russian pavilion. Recall that the capital claims to host the next Expo 2030 exhibition. Rome, Odessa, Busan, and Riyadh will also compete for this right. Who will get this right will be known in the summer of 2023. One of the stands of the pavilion is dedicated to innovations in the Moscow Environmental Monitoring System. There are more than a dozen subsystems in the service, which includes monitoring, atmospheric air, emissions from industrial enterprises, water bodies, bottom, shores, water protection zones, soils, hazardous geological processes, green spaces, noise levels. Today, there are 56 automatic air pollution control stations in Moscow equipped with modern high-precision gas analysis equipment, told the state budgetary institution Mosaic Monitoring of the Department of Nature Management and Environmental Protection of the City of Moscow. Thanks for attention. Put likes, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click on the bell.